Hi, everybody, and welcome to this Bulls update as we are joined by UB women's soccer head coach Sean Burke for our regular visits to check in on how your squad is doing. And the scary part about it is that you're down the home stretch of the season yeah, here. Yeah. It uh, kind of came out of nowhere that this thing is almost over. Only three left. It's, it's crazy to believe that we've actually played all our you know regular season road games already. So it's down to the final three. So you got the three last matches of the year, Eastern Michigan, Central Michigan, Akron, all at home where your team has been incredibly dominant, a 23 one and four record over the last two seasons so uh, let's do the math here you got three at home and you're almost unbeatable at home yeah good good to be home for sure um you know and it, it's unfortunately i don't think our record speaks to how good we're actually playing on the road um, but it, it is what it is and i think the girls you know they're definitely not satisfied with that um, but they're excited to be home uh, i know especially sunday with senior day um, playing in front of a big crowd and their family and friends um, but again it's a great momentum Three games at home going into playoffs, um, even though we'll know we'll have to probably be most likely be on the road for those games. All right, you touched on it. Sunday is senior day against Central Michigan. Always an emotional day. Emotional for the players, emotional for the families, emotional for the coach too, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll recognize seven seniors on Sunday. Um, and that that's a group that has seen it all. You know, their first year, uh, they came in and, and had a lot of struggles and then got the, the you know, all the success of 2014. Uh, and I think they even, you know, they assumed bigger roles individually in 2015. Um, and then in 2015, they've all emerged as, as, as important players for us. And it's going to be it's going to be hard to see them go. Five of those seven are starters. And the legacy that they've left that you just mentioned is part of the story of this class, that they helped bring everybody to the point where you got to be MAC champions. Uh, is, is that what you're going to think of maybe in that moment when they're being honored there on the field Sunday? Yeah, it is. And I think, you know, I, I don't think their stories done being written as well you know I think the one thing that gives us an advantage and what I'm excited about is we have this stretch coming up with three home games and, and a playoff run and we have those those seniors that you just talked about that are starting to realize that this is this is coming to an end and, and they want to keep this thing going as long as possible I think that's a huge advantage for us all right let's talk about some of the individual performances uh, and let's start with Laura Dougal another shutout in the past week in a scoreless tie uh, that you had uh, in one of those games that we just talked about um, she's had an outstanding season uh, you know among the record holders here for shutouts um, where's where's her game at right now is she kind of rising to the occasion of this part of the year yeah you know i think and i think she'll be the first to, to admit it as well the group when the group in front of her is playing well and playing strong uh, it makes her job a lot easier uh, and again you know i think she only had to make three saves on, on sunday uh, but you still have to come up with it and and we've always said that's one of her strengths is when the team is playing well in front of her she still mentally stays in tune to the game that she can still get you know the big save when we need it Andrea Nyper has been your player of the game a couple of times in the last week uh, you know again elevating her level of game what has she done to be so good lately yeah she plays essentially that holding midfield role by herself um, and we we put it on her shoulders to be the the dominant ball winner for our team and win all the balls in the air um, and and she thrives in that environment and it's you know she's the one player that we honestly have probably put the the weight of the team on her shoulders um, and she's and she's lifting them up for sure uh, you have to figure that out as a coach whether someone can handle that, right? Was it pretty clear that Andrea could handle that? Yeah, she's, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm sure she's probably disappointed that she, she wasn't named a captain, but it's never shown in her play and, and how she dictates herself on a daily basis. Uh, you know, the one of the strengths that she's always had from day one is she shows up. No matter the circumstances, no matter how she feels, she will show up and she will compete. Um, and it's and it's paying off now, and, and, I, and she's... You, when you watch her play, she's almost trying to just will through her abilities and her play the, the entire team behind her. Who are some of the other performers that are uh, starting to find their groove here as the season uh, heads towards the home stretch? You know, I think I think Angel's doing a really good job in the back, solidifying that back four, especially when she's playing next to, to two freshmen and, and Ashley, who's getting a lot of minutes now as a senior, um, but a lot of new faces. And I think she's doing a great job really shoring it up back there. Um, and, and Nicole Garrett has given us a different threat uh, on the opposite side, uh, especially when, you know, we've been, you know, last six games without uh, Julie Bonatti on the other side. Uh, Garrett has done a phenomenal job. And I think she only has four assists, but 
Um, it's not for lack of try. She should probably be closer to 10 if uh, some of her teammates could knock a few of those in. All right, so what's the message as the coach to your team that already knows how they need to play at this time of the year, but with the last three at home, as good as you've been at home, knowing that you are right in the mix to get home games in the MAC tournament and certainly in the mix to win the MAC tournament, what's the uh, inspirational message from the head coach? It, it's it's pretty simple. Our playoffs have already started. You know, the MAC might not, they might be waiting three games, but we can't. Um, you know, we're battling for a playoff spot. Uh, most likely, it's going to be on the road uh, the entire time. Um, and, and it started on Sunday against Northern. It had a playoff atmosphere feel to it. Uh, and every single player was ready for that. And that's going to be, it's the same in training. It's the same these last three games. Just because we're at home doesn't mean we're getting a W. Because um, we're playing Eastern, who's we're tied with right now. Central, who's battling, trying to win the, the, the regular season. Uh, so it's going to be a battle to the finish here. So it's, it's playoff mentality from here on out. All right. Well, there you go. It doesn't matter when they actually start. Sean's already in his playoff mode here, as are the UB women's soccer team. Getting ready for a big stretch of three games at home to end the season. Starts on Sunday with Senior Day. Good luck down the stretch here. Thanks, Paul. Sean Burke is the UB women's soccer coach. We thank him for joining us on this Bulls update.